Greetings and welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program. I'm Catherine of Sky and I'm imminently awaiting new research as it comes in like four seconds. There it comes, two and one and hello. There we go. Logistics carry capacity level four. So uh, I'm really excited because uh, I think I told you the other day in an episode that uh, you had to be really careful about how many uh, things you were requesting and all kinds of this stuff. The devs have patched this and now we can choose what is the minimum amount we want the drones to carry and that kind of stuff. So that is really exciting. Um, I, I record ahead of time a lot of times. So uh, but today was the day of the patch or yeah, it was today. That's right. Anyway, we found out that. Anyway, we now have more capacity, so you don't have to be afraid of researching the largest capacity ships. Now, um, I did, I was like wondering what the heck is going on with the power here? Why are those uh, dishes not <laughs> providing power? And it's this. Oh, we have gotten too many gaps in our power poles. Yeah, more than one or more than zero. More than zero was bad. Uh, anyway, so we're going to figure out the, the power here, uh, which I believe we have way too much. Yeah, we're only using 25%. So I'm, what I'm going to do right now is delete these dishes because we are going to need some power. Actually, let's delete this one as well and just put the power pole there. Okay. And the rest of the power will be then available. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna take, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna take this one off too. The rest of the power I just want to have in the main base or the main planet or moon, whatever we're calling it today. Okay, uh, and here, because we have such a nice solar uh, energy ratio, 134%, I'd rather put down solar panels to be perfectly honest. Uh, but in this episode, I'm going to try to not focus that much on power. I think we can put down a little bit of power. Let's see, maybe, uh, yeah, four stacks for now. I'll take four stacks and just chuck some on the North Pole, especially. Uh, and um, then we can also actually start putting them on the South Pole, because that is also an excellent place to get these things going. Just go ahead and put them in a couple of rows and then we'll walk around here. What if we went into God mode for building this? I haven't actually tried that. A few people suggested this uh, and it's into, is it miscellaneous? No, control, no, gameplay, gameplay. Ver audio, video, no, hello. It's gotta be here somewhere. Ah, here it is, God mode. Let's try this. Okay, we're in god mode. This is some... Um, okay. B, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, okay, so you can just move around quite easily uh, when... And you don't have to move the actual character. This is a bit jarring, though. The whole, like, it's moving the whole screen now. I don't really like that at all. This is quite horrible. Because I, I can't position my mouse well. Now it's sort of like trying to help me ish, but I don't, I don't want to be helped. Thank you. I'm good. Oh, okay. So KOS has tried God mode building and on this, I just don't like the whole automatic moving thing. I, I wonder if that's supposed to be in a non circular area. Maybe it works better somewhere else. I think it's trying to like help me by moving it automatically and it's not always succeeding. Maybe I just need to get used to it. I'm like, I was about to pronounce uh, KOS hates it, but it, I, I don't know. Maybe I just need more practice. It's, it seems okay-ish. Let's try this. Okay, we're just like clicking, not moving, and it's moving for us. So it does need a tiny bit of work on the pathing, I think. But uh, having said that, it makes it a heck of a lot easier to place some stuff down. Lack of items, okay. That was quick. That was a quick four stacks. Jeez. Um, uh, does this change? Let me go change the settings back to third person view. Apply. I don't know if that changes things or not. I'm not actually sure. Uh, but it might actually be useful for building in, in the new array that we have here. So we disconnected this array uh, the power poles. Anyway, here is a power pole. Let's see. Where did we 
Where did we disconnect this poor array? I think it's here, yeah. Yeah, you know what? Let's try the whole episode with building in god mode. I want to try this. We're just going to play this this way and see if it's better. I don't know. It could be better. It might be. Um, okay, so we're going to connect this area. Well, it has been already connected. Uh, and we're going to check out what's going on here. Now, one of the things that we uh, we know is this is a precursor to one of the sciences. I forget if it's part of green or if it's part of uh, actually getting... Uh, I know it's part of green, but is it part of purple? We need to get purple science, which is here. And let's see, we need the particle broadband, which we have some uh, nice, looks like fiber optic cables. Uh, and here we'll go to information matrix, which is purple science. What is this made out of? Particle broadband and processors. Well, at least we'll have processors made for this science. So that's pretty good. In any case, I wanted to show you a tool that I had kind of forgotten about because it has a really, or had a strange interface, but I think they worked on it. At least it seems different from the last time I used it. And this is the uh, Dyson Sphere calculator at factoriolab.github.io. And I figure this is better than me trying to like, sometimes I have a clear brain. I can do math, but it's, uh, it, the numbers jump around in my head sometimes with chronic flipsia and migraines and crap. So it's like, yeah, <laughs> not good. So calculators help me with stuff. What I've done is I put in the numbers for, so this is where you put in your item. It's at the top here. And again, it's at factoriolab.github.io. And this will be kind of similar to the Kirk McDonald uh, calculator. And I, I wonder if it's the same author. I don't know. Uh, but we have the particle container. You can choose, say, for example, crystal silicon, and it will get you a thing. But we're going to choose these pink barbells, which are the particle containers. You can change the units. Uh, I'm not sure what belts and factories are. I looked at that. And I'm like, eh, not quite sure. But uh, we did four items a second. And it also has like a flow graph. Let's open this up just a tiny bit. Uh, so it tells you where the copper is going, for example, where this magnet is going. Um, there are also percentages in the list here. And then of course you can set these, um, settings here for, uh, recipes that you want to disable. For example, like if you don't have the fire ice, uh, instead of the regular graphene, you can take the fire ice one off. Actually, I'm going to take the regular graphene off in this one. And you can have items per second, per minute, per hour. And then, of course, I'm not sure what this minimum maximum thing is, but I'm just putting it on minimum. Uh, and then, of course, your belts and assemblers. I've put in assembly machines Mark II because those are the ones we're using. And, of course, the belt is we're using Mark III belts. And then we can also put in our mining productivity. And let me just kind of like make this smaller so I can see my other thingy thingy. And mining productivity is, let's go ahead and look at our settings, which is T. <laughs> no, T is the thing. Let's see, mining productivity. Do we have that? Um, I'm not sure what mining productivity is in this case. It's plus, is that 100 minus 88.36? I'm not sure, actually. I'm not sure if they want the exact amount here, because this is this is how much we we are using. Instead of a hundred percent, we only need to use eighty-eight percent. But productivity is not going to be eighty-eight uh, percent. I have to investigate that further, and I'll try to to find out what we put into this particular thingy thingy here. In any case, I'm quite happy with the settings uh, and we're going to go back to this list view. And I think we just got a research. Hooray! Logistics drones fly faster. All right. So we're going to keep on researching this stuff. And our initial calculations for this area were correct. Uh, and now we're just going to build the rest of the stuff needed to make these cubes uh, or pink barbells. So we have two of these uh, belts coming in here. Those were spacers to make sure that we can make all the rest of the stuff. And I'm gonna try to figure out what we're gonna do next. So we got the graphene, perfect. Now we need copper and that's just very, very simple. We're gonna have copper come in all by itself, but then we need the electromagnetic turbines. 
So I think, let's see, we have uh, one copper vein here. Let's see how much does it tell us to build. We need 24 items a second of copper, which means we need 24 copper smelters. I don't know if we can get that from one patch, to be perfectly honest. That's a lot of copper. But we're going to try. <laughs> we're going to try. So let's see. I want to uh, get a miner out, which is this tab. 24. Uh, actually, we have mining speed, don't we? Jeez. I don't know how to put that in. Let's see. Let's go to T again. Research speed. Mining speed is 120%. So maybe that's what we put in productivity. Let's try that out. Let's see if it gives us 24 and we go with plus 20%. What does that say? It doesn't affect this at all. Hmm. Nope, that's not it. Because it would it would go down, I think. The miners would go. Oh, wait, that's smelting. Never mind. Miners is different. So we need 40 miners or 40 veins. It is specific to veins. That's nice. If we put this at zero, 48. Okay, you know what? We're going we're gonna to put this 20% 20, 20 because I believe that's what we have is 120%. So plus 20%. Okay, I think we understand this now. That's good. That's good. All right. Woohoo. Um, that, that's exciting. So we, we need to cover 40 veins. Hmm. Yeah, that's going to be at least two patches, I believe. Uh, but we're going to, we can try. We can try. Let's see. There's one. Uh, there's two. We're going to just put as many miners as we can possibly fit in here. Er, er, don't collide. There's another one. Yeah, this god mode is really weird. The whole, like, it shifts the perspective. Oh no, we need foundation here. Um, let's go ahead and put some down here. Flatten that out. We need we need to flatten it out. It isn't a choice. Okay, we're gonna try to cover all of these mining thingy thingies. Wouldn't it be nice to have like a selection box of like, tell me how many veins we're covering? I wonder if I can fit one in here. Good fit. I could cover two veins. Hmm. Okay, so we have six and then six, so that's 12. Seven uh, is 19. And then we have 25. Uh, and then 32. 37. Oh my gosh, we have more than 40. Happy days. Uh, 37, 40, 44. Uh, and then another seven is 50 something. Oh, this is, it's more than 40. That's all we care about. Okay, so let us uh, get this on a belt. Our belts are 30 items a second. And let's see, this is gonna be, it tells me I need 0.8 belts because we don't need that much production. So we're just going to use this copper for one thing and one thing only. Let's see if that goes here. Sure. There we go. And then we're just going to add these all on here and get these here. Good, good, good. Okay. This is also a great place for some solar uh, intermittently here. Go ahead and put this this way because uh, we're going to use less area near this uh, lava pit. Wow, that's nice. Hey, I guess we can use this area maybe to create all of the things that need copper. I like that idea. So we need, let's get our smelters. We need 24 smelters. Uh, and we can actually put them all in one line if we want to. That's not too bad. Uh, somebody asked me if I had been building substations. I really haven't. Uh, I, I feel like they're, they take up a lot of space, but I guess we could try them. I haven't really, um, I don't think I even have them researched. Whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Uh, are they in? We can research them. There they are. Satellite power distrib- Wow, 800 yellow science? Oh, I'd rather buy anything else but that. 
Okay, so we, we made our choices. We made our choices. Yes. All right, so here we go with our smelters. We're going to go one. Oh, okay. One. See, now here it moves it too far a bit. Four. Okay, there. Uh, one, two, four. So that's eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Should I? How much are we doing? Twenty-four? So we have twelve here. I guess we could do just twelve and twelve. And have them come out on this belt here. Oh no, 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 here. Here is where we want to do this. Yeah, this is gonna be good, I think. And I'm gonna put let's see, make sure we count right. This is this is 12, yes. And I'm just gonna put the others on this side. Oh. This is a bit jar uh yeah yeah. Don't do that thingy. Bad. Bad. So when I when I do a space, I think it goes on the amount of spaces you did last time. That's how it feels like it works. So what's happening here is it's going further because I am uh, moving a tiny bit further because we're power poles, basically power poles. So we're just going to have this belt wrap around this way and it carries plenty of items per second. So no need to split off off of here and whatnot. I do want these all coming in on the same thing so that they can compensate for each other when uh, the uh, when when uh, individual nodes run out. OK, let's go here. This is so weird, like I guess I should move the Wait, where, how do you move the character? Shift? Okay, move the character with shift. Okay. Let's go here. There we go. That's not right. These are in... No, they're not instant. I was like, huh? Are they instant? They always seem to be there when I look. Okay, this is working pretty well. Pretty well. Uh, in some ways, it's kind of nice to not have to move the character. But in other ways, like here, it's a bit dark to build. Uh, and it's also... You kind of lose that RP flavor. And I kind of like it. I, I, I do actually like it. Uh, let's see. One thing that I learned, thanks to our wonderful friend, Avon, uh, you see those little gray dots? That means if it's powder, powered or not, I've never noticed that for some reason. I always just like focus on the flashy yellow things or whatever. And if you move this out of range, like if you're looking at this power pole down there, uh, you can see, oops, it's right beyond, oh, you know what? Let me turn off the browser screen there for a moment. You can see that it lights up when I put it in certain positions and not in others. So that's a really good way to check if you are um, having some issues with placement. Let's see, I'm having an issue with placement there. So let's place this here instead. Okay, oh, 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 are we, are we good on everything else? I think we are good on everything else, good. Okay, so let's get out of build mode here for a moment and we're going to put I know you know what I'm gonna go and get some solar panels from the box because oh, oops, I was thinking that was the other tower do I have enough fuel by the way yeah I do I have plenty of fuel and we should have some kind of carbon based fueling medium ah we have some hydrogen that's fun we also have hydrogen that we're probably gonna burn on this planet so we really don't need uh, the Dyson collectors here at the moment. We might need them in a bit though, because goodness only knows that, uh, yeah. We, we might need a lot of power on this planet for all these manufacturing things. Uh, that is usually reserved for, you know, the main planet. If, if, um, I know on my first planet, I had, I didn't farm out anything until way, way, way late game of like getting green science and stuff like that. So this is kind of, uh, unusual, I guess. 
All right, let's put these power structures here. Uh, power, power, power. There we go. And then I'll try to stick a few in here. See what we can do. Okay, there we go. I don't know if they actually power anything. No, they, they seem to need some... Uh, some power poles still in between. So we'll try to connect those up if we can. I feel like wind might also be a good power thingy to stick in here. Of course, these are not near the poles, so they're going to fluctuate our power grid. So definitely wind would be superior as a choice for this area because it's up 100% of the time. One thing that we can also do to kind of even these things out is get some of the um, accumulators that might... Oh, look what we did. Oh, the bad KOS. Jeez, no. Oh, KOS is so bad. Okay, so we're, <laughs> we're making these. It's fine, though, because we can practice our keys here. I'm using the comma and period key to do these. On other keyboards, it might be the less than, greater than, depending on which layout you are preferring. Go. Easy, easily done though. Easily done. That did not take long at all. The only thing I wish I would wish for, and this is just like pie in the sky, is like the whole. Ah, oh, wouldn't it be nice to have a, um, uh, yeah, click and drag, or like um, hold, hold while you move your mouse pointer, and it would um, add them, add the recipes to them. Okay, so we have copper coming out. Now it's time for our um, lovely internet thingy friend. Hey friend, Hi. hey internet friend, um, to do the next step. So we're gonna need to make the green motors. Where did they go? Hello green motors, there they are. So what you can do is you can open up each individual panel and it says, aha, we need 16 motors and we need 16 magnetic coils for this. And this tells us that these 16, um, so are 50% so we, we need to make 32 magnetic coils per second and 50% of them are going into these green motors. So that's going to help us divide our copper and stuff like that. I think I'm just going to use a simple split because it's super easy because we have these super fast belts and we don't even need to worry about multiple belt throughput except for on the magnetic coils. But it seems like we're going to have a couple of belts for that anyway because of this 50% thing. So why don't we go ahead and we're going to make the green motors and we need eight assemblers for that. And I think, oopsies, I'm, I'm on the wrong thing and I'm trying to like move my... Oh, okay. How do I... Hello? B? Okay. I have to un-B. un -B for that. I think what I want to do is I want to... Ooh. This, um... That's in a very inconvenient spot, isn't it? Hmm. Uh, I think I'm going to place miners around this spot, actually. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I just want to get the miners here so that I can build around the rest of it. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure about God goddess mode building. It's mm, yeah. How much iron do we need anyway? We need <laughs> we need 80 80 items a second. Wow. How can that be? It's a, well, it's 133 nodes. That is a lot of nodes. I'm going to get out the calculator when we're doing this math on these guys because I'm, I'm feeling scared. I'm feeling really scared. <laughs> like, the terror is rising within. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, this iron patch is not going to do it. This is not 133 for sure. But we can figure out how many we need. Let's go ahead and calculate this. We have, okay, 6 plus 5 and 4. So plus 9. Then we have, this one is 6 and 7. So that's 13. Plus, let's see, we have 5, 6, 11, plus 8. And then we have eight, another eight. So this one was 55. Okay, that's pretty decent. That's pretty decent. I'm going to put that in another uh, 
write it down in notepad. We have 55 in that patch. Let's find another patch then. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the browser. I, I'm, I'm going to try to remember how to turn those things off. Let's look on our map and we have, we do have a patch down here, which is quite big. So we'll go down there. We probably need to pat, do like three different patches here. This is a lot of iron. I didn't really realize how much iron that I needed. Like this is a massive monster amount of iron. Okay. So that's a nice, oh, that's a huge one, isn't it? Wow. This song, when it has the chorus, it reminds me of that old, like, 80, I think it's an 80s song, Dancing in the Street. Uh, I, I can, like, hear it in my head whenever it plays. <laughs> I'll try to remember to sing it when it comes around again. Uh, okay. All right, let's calculate these now. I still have the 55 on the calculator here, plus 7. All right, then we have 8 and four, so that's 12. Six and four is 10. Then we have six and eight, 14. And then six. All right, so that is 104. So those two are 104. All right, so it looks like we're gonna need three different iron patches. Oops, let me tab out of the game real quick. And it says we needed 133.4. All right, so we still need to go and find another iron mine uh, somewhere. Iron, iron land. Hello? Let's get out of this. Okay, for some reason, escape is giving me the main menu. And that I don't really like in build mode. In this god mode. Okay, we get, we're getting some more vertical construction. Where did we go? Where do we need to go? That's a better question. Probably here. Let's take that iron on the left. Ah, no, up there. There's some up there. There's some up there. Wow, this is a massive project. I didn't realize how much iron this would need. Whoa. But uh, we're going to need it. We're going to need all this stuff later. So it's fine. We're thinking about future us having a great time. Yeah, all the things, all the stuff. Okay, so that's going to be the new poll. Um, <laughs> we're gonna, I was actually really, I, I had no idea how many people would respond to the other poll about the mall. And like almost 3,000 people responded. And I was like, oh, wow, okay, that's fantastic. I'm so glad you guys care. That, that's like, wow, neat. Um, and if you're wondering where the polls are, uh, if you go to my uh, main page, it's on the thing that's called the community tab. So it should be right under my, my banner logo thing. Uh, and it's right there. And uh, okay, so let's see, I'm gonna put this one up as a new poll uh, once I am, uh, yeah, once I finish recording this episode. Okay, so let's see, we have seven here. And then we have, let's see, uh, wait, that one was seven? Okay, another seven and five, so that's plus 12. And let's see, seven and six is 13. And then we have five and six, 11. Wow, we have 147. That's cutting it a bit close, um, but it's not overkill. Definitely not overkill. Uh, if you look at it, think about it because of the, um, because the patches run out. Some of these little veins, I think have less than others. Yeah, you can actually see how much is in them. This has 73K. This one is 49K and yeah. Oh, look at this one. That sneaky thing. Didn't get covered. All right. All right. So that's going to get covered later, probably. <laughs> uh, anyway, so let, yeah, let's get these uh, belts going on here. I think, how do we want to do the smelting on this? Let's see. Our calculator thingy majingy says we need mini. 
we need 48 smelters. So this is 2.7 belts. I feel like it's a good idea to have one belt per each thing. Uh, and I think for iron, that must mean we need... Um, why does it say we need 1.6 belts for iron? Is it two iron per one smelt? Really? Really? Confusion? No, it's one to one. So why do we need so much ore? 2.7 belts of ore into iron smelting, which is 1.6. I am confused. I don't know what to make of that, actually. I really don't know if we need that many or not. Let's see, we need 88. Let's see, let me just make sure on the calculator. Let's see, this is iron ingots. One second, and it says 1.6 conveyor belts this is mark three mark three yes 30 items a second 30 items a second i don't know if i'm reading this wrong or what i really don't know but if you need 2.7 and it's one to one maybe the production is slower because hmm. 48 that makes sense taking 48 uh, on 1.6 belts sounds about right because they're 30 items a second. But this ore, this ore number, I wonder if there's something a bit screwed up with that. Because if you're taking 40, unless it has to do with the, no, it's not using less ore, is it? No, it couldn't be. Because if you divide this number in half, which is each uh, mining node produces uh, half half per second. So it takes two seconds to produce one ore. So this number should be something like 96 ore. So I'm not really sure what's going on with this. I have no idea. Oh, well. All right. I'm going to go with the smelter number. Let's just do that. Let's just decide to go with the smelter number and then we'll... <laughs> We'll hook up a few of these things and call it good, shall we? Okay, where am I? Oh, okay, that I don't like. I use um, escape a lot to get um, out of building modes and stuff like that. So I, I don't like that escape brings up the menu when I'm just trying to get out of build mode. Uh, all right, so but let's go ahead and do two different smelting lines here. I want to do... I think we, each of these things had more than, well, not more than 60. They had between 50 and something, I don't know, 30 and 50 or something like that. So we'll kind of split this up. Let's split it up into two, two lines and we'll have um, 24 on each line. Actually, we can do the same kind of a setup as we have here. Uh, let's go here and or do we want to do that? Maybe we could just go the full length. That might be easier. In fact, I could move this whole setup up here instead. And that might actually work a lot better. It might save us some space because we're going to need some manufacturing room for the other stuff anyway. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's just completely get rid of these guys. That was a good, good thought, but no, just no today. Ah, in oh no, inventory full cannot retrieve item. Whoa, hey, buddy, dude, like that's not good. No, 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 no. Let's go and put our solar panels back here. And the copper, we can also shove that in there as well. Let's get rid of these things. I should have paid attention to the noises. <laughs> It's like when being outside of building range, mm -hmm. you can hold down the shift key and use the right mouse button to yeah. on the open space. Outside of building time. range. All right, that's fine. X. Yeah, I want to do this a little bit differently. That's kind of fun though. That whole thing, the whole like drag and hold like WASD. You don't actually have to walk, which sometimes it's problematic if there are rocks around. So that's kind of fun. I think we're going to have to delete some of that belt as well. Oh, 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 no, no, no. I'm going to 
to... Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. I wanted to delete that. Control click. No! Okay, that's one thing that is a bit strange. The whole, like, control click to big, pick up a big group of it. Um, but then if a box is open, it delete it, um, yeah, it, it shifts it to the box instead when I actually wanted to delete it. That's my, was my intention there. All right, let's do this a tiny bit differently. Let's go here. This line here is nice. Okay. And we're just going to delete this stuff this way. Everything's going to be hunky-dory. Oh, that's perfect. That is nice. So I'm going to go ahead and leave room here for a few smelters. We have several now. So let's go start here. Start with two, of course, and then space. Three and four. One, three, and four. I hope we are okay. We should be. We have landfill anyway, so it's not a big deal. Okay. No! Shift. Move. Move the guy. It's apparently we don't fit. No! This is weird. Uh... It's very awkward to move our drone with holding shift. <laughs> very, very awkward. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. That is 20. Um, and then we'll get our four. We have two on that end. And then we'll add another two. Okay. Perfect. And then this one goes there. And then we're going to have another belt there. We are going to need a ton of belts here for this. Okay. So then the next one is going to be our iron, I think. And we'll have at least two iron. Now, I was asked today uh, what a splitter is good for, and this is actually a perfect um, incidence of having, of needing a splitter. Uh, and we're, I'll show you in just a moment. Let's see, let's take this one through as well. And we need another one. This might be a bit tight for a splitter, but we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully, we can get it in here. This might have also been good for substation land. <laughs> okay, so for big builds like this, I can see using God Mode. It is actually pretty decent. Pretty decent indeed. I feel like a typewriter though. <laughs> I do feel like a typewriter. No joke. It's fine. Oh, and KOS. Oh, KOS. Why? Why, KOS, did you do this? Hmm. It's fine though. It's fine. We're just gonna practice our punctuation keys. Yes. Here we go. I think I don't think we can reach that far. Nah, we can't reach that far. But it's okay. We'll get a little bit closer. We need to move our mech anyway. Alright. Okay, and then these guys need to be the iron. We'll copy this one and then paste that one around as well. Oh wait, we're we're back in not build mode. Okay. Interesting. Interesting choice. Dear robot. Okay. Okay, land. There's a lot less moving around when you're building like this. Just just sort of stream of consciousness here telling you how it's feeling. I think it's it's okay in general. It's just it's okay. It's okay. All right. Let's get the last of these finished off. 
And bots, you should... I think we need to get those bots on upgrade because they are feeling slow when doing, like, really big builds like this. Okay, so back to that splitter thing that we were talking about. This is a perfect use for this splitter. And I think we want to do... Uh, this one. Let's see. We have two different variations. Uh, and I think this is going to be the best for us here. We're going to probably... I want to take both of the belts up into here. And then both can feed out. So we'll take this one there and this one there. And then we'll have two belts feeding in. So that one goes that way. And then this one can go kind of like this. Yeah, there we go. And this one is going to come from... Somewhere land. Probably this can go there. And then we'll have a different one. Oh, that was smooth. Wow, that was pretty good. But the curve got me at the end there. Okay. And then we'll have another belt coming in here. And that's going to be this miner, I believe. Okay, so we have this. Let's go and put power poles down. And we can actually put them... Wow, this covers a lot. But we're ne needing inserters for some of these places. And I think we're going to just have to have two here. Hopefully that'll cover it. There's so many inserters to place on this. And this is a heck of a big build. Jeez. But I, then again, four uh, pink dumbbells a second is a lot. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Come on. Out of build mode. Unbe... Unbe. I also feel like there's a lot of like looking downward. I feel like, huh, where's the world? Where is the, oh wow, this is so cool. Look at this, like you can see the curvature of the planet. This is great. What a cool screenshot. I'm gonna take a screenshot of this, this is great. Okay, let's just wait, there we go. Oh, oh no, yep, 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 there we go. Without, without the electricity things. <laughs> Got to make sure not to bother the electricity things. Okay, so now, geez, we have uh, we have inserters to do. Man, oh man. But I'll try to entertain you with, uh, I don't know, a story perhaps? What shall we say? This is the story of the little copper nugget who went down a belt so gleefully and happily and decided to become a copper ingot. It was his life's dream to become a copper ingot. Um, nothing could dissuade him from this particular uh, delight and fantasy to one day be a motor. Wow. You know what? Have you ever wanted to be a motor? I've never thought about that before. But I feel like the story of the copper ingot is one that we can all relate to of being something greater than you are, combining with other parts to make a whole and... Um, you know, fulfilling your dream, maybe getting smelted in the process, a little bit hot, uh, <laughs> very sometimes very uncomfortable. Those things happen in life. But the copper ingot was, or the copper ore was not deterred. Copper ore was ready to take it all on and be strong and survive through the heat of the smelter. Okay, let's see. Um, I feel like there's more story coming. Yeah, we have we have more <laughs> we have more arrays to do. <laughs> Actually, though, we might run out of um, we might run out of these things though the inserters. I find it amusing, by the way, all of the people who are saying uh, they are sorters KOS. They have a filter, and I keep thinking, did you guys not see me use the filter like on episode two or three or something? I I'm aware. And um, the thing about them is, sorting feels to me like designating, as in choosing, choosing what comes out. Um, but it doesn't mean like, like in Factorio, inserting means putting into, getting an arm and uh, shoving it into a machine or onto a belt. So that's why I keep calling them inserters because they kind of are. They are inserters. They do insert things and it feels like a better name. And I think what the the thing is, they are probably, it might be a copyright thing. I don't know. Uh, maybe not. I'm not sure. What's going on with this? Hello? Oh, I've got the wrong thing selected. No wonder. Um, but 
It also could be a language thing because, you know, the developers are Chinese and the, the translations as we've seen are um, interesting sometimes. Um, and I think it could be uh, that they haven't uh, thought about it or something. Maybe the translation is different. Um, because there are a number of things in the game that there are very strange translations for. So I'm hoping that they'll call it an inserter later or something along those lines. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to continue to call it an inserter because that's what it does. It inserts into things. And um, I have not used the sort function, but a handful of times of the thousands and thousands of these I have placed uh, in the game. So, like, for example, we have... How many of these things do we have? Many. We have... Oh, no, no, that's not right. Let's see. We have placed in this array 24 times 3, which is technically a lot. So 48, um, 68, uh, plus... Oh, my God. Plus 4. 68 plus 4 is 72. It's hard to do this while doing other things as well, by the way. Uh, 72 times 2. So that is 144 just in this one array. And I have not used a single sort function. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's why I would like them to not be... <laughs> to, I would like people who are thinking of them as uh, sorters to just relax a tiny bit. That's what I would like. <laughs> it would be great would be fabulous but I know you want to be technically correct or something along those lines so I'm chilling about it it is fine in my universe I don't mind okay uh, are we there we go we can add one there okay looking absolutely fabulous let's go ahead and connect this uh, array up to that pl uh, place over there i think that would be a nice thing to do and i'm thinking we might even need to uh at some point soon get some more inserters because we are just at the very beginning of this build of course this is the most uh, the, the part of the build with probably the most inserters involved and stuff like that. So. Oh, that doesn't work. Wait, does that one work if I put it there? Yeah. Okay, there. That works quite well. Very, very nice. All right, so this is our iron, and we're getting iron going. Wow, that's so fast. These belts are quick. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so this should be exactly the amount we need for stuff. I keep pressing escape, because that's my key of choice when getting out of things. Um, but these are going to go. These are going to go, and they are going, and things are going well. Let's check out these things. We're still not at even 50% usage, so that's great. So we are actually doing pretty darn good. This is, these are doing fine. They're buffering. Yeah, they might be even be done buffering. So, okay, this is nice. It is splitting between the two lines and hopefully them both coming in means the magic inside that box means they can fill two belts to full. We're gonna hope that that's the case. So let's delete this part because we don't need it. It's not actually hurting anything since it doesn't seem to affect the throughput in general but we we might just need two mines for this i'm not sure uh but we might need to bring the third one in i don't know about that that might even be a thing where we need to distribute two two belts into two are we getting we're not getting enough but it looks like we're getting past halfway but i don't know if it's because the beginning ones have buffered or not i don't know we'll check it out but I think right now it's probably a good time to end this episode because we are at the 50 minute mark nearly in this video. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. I hope you're enjoying this like massive build. I had no idea it was going to be quite this big, but I'm quite happy to have been uh, keeping the browser on too long. Darn it. No, bad KOS. Uh, anyway, <laughs> thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.